Hi Cancer, welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight in Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, we are going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. We're going to take whatever comes out here. So this is a general forecast, which means if we get love, if we get work, career, finance, or something else going on around you, we're just going to take the messages as they come. So please keep that in mind. It may or may not resonate with every single person. Please only take what resonates, and if it's not resonating with you, it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit and then leave me negative comments because I will delete them. And uh, this could be past, present, or future. Also, so uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching. So Cancer, we're going to see what is going on around you at this time for this general forecast for Cancer. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how that plays into your reading if you don't resonate with that part. This part, totally fine, but um, usually I work it in and, uh, you know, we'll see we'll see what's going on with you, Cancer, at this time. And Cancer, you can get all the information you need below in the description box and the pin top comment, decks I'm using, links to purchase them if you wish to purchase them for yourself. Social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, that info is below. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, or an energy exchange of some kind, that info is also below. If you're not comfortable using uh, PayPal, if you wish to energy exchange or something, during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for energy exchanges if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. All right, so Cancer. Let's see what is going on with you. It's, well, I'm going to take that one. I did have Capricorn flip, but I'm only taking one. And this is the one that was shown to me. So Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra. You could have Libra in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Um, it could be anyone around you. Uh, a lover, a family member, a friend, a co-worker. For those of you who are still working could be anybody, but Libra does represent the Justice card in the Major Arcana of the Tarot, which could think, uh, speak of legalities, uh, paperwork, um, doing, doing what's moral, just, and right, equality, balance, truth, and clarity, uh, getting justice, serving justice in some way, shape, or form. Truth's coming out. I don't know why I'm getting that message. I'm getting the message of truth's coming out also, so whatever that means for you, for some of you. So we'll see how this plays into your reading. So with this deck here, with this deck here, first thing I'm going to do is get an opening message for you. And then we'll get another one for your current energy. And then we'll do the bottom of the deck. And then I'll use the tower there to clarify your energy, what your, what your story is. For some of you, for some of you, remember, this may not resonate with everyone or maybe just parts or take it however it fits into your situation or resonates into your situation may not be exactly as how I um, describe it. So please keep that in mind. So the, <laughs> let's see. This is a general collective reading. It's not a personal reading. So please keep that in mind. Also, sometimes it's very specific. Sometimes it's very vague. So, all right. So let's get an opening message. So once we clarify your energy, then I'll pull cards to see what your actual situation is. Advice for your situation, possible outcome, whatever comes out here. And then at the end, um, we'll get some working light oracles, extra messages. Also, I always go over the bottoms of all the decks. All right, I just want one. What is the opening message for Cancer, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Opening message. Okay. What do we have here? So we have the Arrow Master hitting the mark, intention, and detachment, which is 10. 10s ten are about completions, but then 10 equals 1, which is a new beginning. So this is having clear, focused intentions for yourself, for your future. Something that you could be concentrating on now or um, planning or something like that. And having your like target in place and knowing exactly what you want to do and setting that intention, intention to hit that mark. But you may have to tend there about ending. You may have to detach and end from something first before you can hit the mark uh, on this new thing that you want to move forward on or do or whatever that you're intending on doing for some of you. 
it could have to do with like the Libra energy. It's either something or someone you're dealing with, or for some of you, it could be in um, the Justice Department in some way, shape or form, like legalities, paperwork, um, or something like that. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And that card always reminds me of Sagittarius. So some of you could be dealing with the Libra, if not, uh, maybe a Sagittarius in some way, shape, or form. All right, so ooh, let's get one for your energy. So we have the word Lord, communication, praise, dishonesty. And then we have 43 there, which is seven. And seven is about um, spiritual any energy, divinely guided path for you, spiritual connection. And that could be that communication. And you see writing, that you know, somebody's writing here. So if there's paperwork or legalities or something you need to communicate to somebody, um, maybe needing to do that, it could be like a detachment or like a goodbye note or something like that. Maybe giving them, you know, recognition or praise or maybe not praise, but recognition or apologies or whatever here saying, you know, um, you know, maybe they did something that was very dishonest to you and you're like, okay, maybe I can't face them because I might explode in their face. So I'm just going to write them a letter, an email, a text and say, look, I know what happened. You know, I know what the dishonesty was. So I'm choosing to detach from your energy. It's sending that communication, like setting that intention, hitting the mark and maybe telling them, you know, thank you for the times you were there for me or were a friend or something like that, but your energy no longer serves me. So that could be for some, could be detaching from people that are no longer serving you. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom here. The chess queen, trust, strategizing, 33. It's about teamwork, collaboration, people coming together. Could, could have been someone you worked with, maybe did something deceiving to you. And maybe you found out and you're like, you know what, I'm going to just, you know, tell this person I know what happened here. And it could be somebody that was strategizing something here. And uh, <clears throat> they really, really hurt your trust in them. Maybe, maybe they were strategizing some way here to, like, get your glory or get something here or... I don't know for their own well-being or their, you know, the good of them. You know, I'm not getting, getting really a good energy with that chess queen energy, with strategizing and trust, especially with dishonesty here. So there's something here you need to detach, detach from. Um, somebody's reading here I did at the beginning where they had um, somebody around them that was very distrustful. And it was either Aries or Capricorn. I don't really remember, but... Um, Anyway, so let's clarify this energy. What is going on? It could be somebody in your social circle with three there is about community, teamwork, collaboration, socializing energy. So it's either someone in your social group of friends or somebody you work with. Maybe wrote something bad about you or did something. It could have even been on social media. You know, maybe they... So, you know, try to, I don't know. They try to do something here that was not good. But I think you're seeing through that. So let's see. Maybe they're trying to ruin your reputa reputation by, you know, writing things on social media and stuff like that. Maybe they, you know, trying to get ahead and maybe they maybe want your position or figure, you know, if they can eliminate you, they can get your position or your whatever here. I don't know. Something here. Um, let's see what's going on. And, you know, the word Lord, I'm getting like rules, regulations, uh, things like that. Somebody I feel like wasn't following the rules, the regulations um, and things like that. So. All right. So. Somebody here was trying to get around like rules and regulations somehow. All right, so what, what? But I feel like with that uh, Libra energy here, that you're seeing all through all this bullshit. It's like, you know, somehow you found out or you know, or you've seen through it. 
So let's see what this energy is. So we have the three of pentacles with the three over here. And I said, this could be somebody that you worked with. So this is teamwork, collaboration, working together. So this definitely could have been someone uh, you worked with. Remember, this could be past, present, or future. So keep that in mind. What else here for Cancer? Oops. All right, the Nine of Swords. So stress, fear, worry, anxiety. So stress and worry and fear over something here. And then you've got the Six of Cups. So definitely could be somebody here that you've known since childhood or you worked with for a very, very long time. Or a new for a very long time here. You went to high school with or from your childhood. Or this could even be someone you had a past life with. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. I mean, for some of you, it could be the Empress. Somebody here could be um, a mother, but not only that, could be an owner of a business, entrepreneur, um, knows their value and worth, a lot of growth, abundance, successful kind of energy. Emperor or Empress. All right, what else here? Oh, that's way too many. All right, so let's take these two. Yeah, the devil. So <laughs> I felt that some sort of toxic energy around you. Somebody, I feel like you kind of know somebody, like it could be a friend or a coworker. And maybe if they're just an associate or a coworker, you're not necessarily like close friends with them, but you know, you tolerate them because you have to, because you're coworkers. But you can sense like a toxic energy from them, like a not a good vibe which kind of makes you a little bit nervous. It could be an employee, even if you're not a, a business owner, entrepreneur, you could be a supervisor or um, a president or a manager or something like that. And you can kind of sense this dark energy within this person, like they're kind of up to no good. It's got you, I think their energy had you a little nervous and you know, they kind of squeak around the rules, you know, they break the rules and, you know, maybe now and then you have to tell them, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. Maybe they give you an attitude kind of um energy but let's see here the magician so manifesting a brand new beginning here and this could be an energy of the person with the magician and the devil together this could be somebody around you who's very devilish who does not have good intentions they could be a manipulator of some kind with those two together that is not a good energy not a good energy and i feel their energy had you very Almost like, not, well, I don't want to say scared, but very nervous, like on your feet all the time around them. Because you just kind of know. I'm seeing like the VS right here. So I'm getting like me versus them kind of energy act. I don't know why I'm getting that, but wow. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see what the actual situation is for you here, Cancer. What is the actual situation here for you, Cancer? The five of wands. So yeah, there's fighting, arguing, conflict. Yep. And then we have the ace of wands. It's a fiery, passionate new beginning. You've kind of just started. Like that could be like the, the entrepreneurship kind of energy, taking on a new lead, new role, uh, creative energy, passionate, fiery new beginning. But there's conflict. So you've got to take on a new role as a manager or something like that, or maybe even in the past. Maybe you were conflicted about doing it because you didn't want to take on that role, uh, but maybe some of you did anyway, or starting your own business, you're like, geez, I don't know. Or this is just representing, you know, whatever position you, you are in that's new to you. This is the conflict between you and either this person or other energies around you. So we have the Ace of Swords. So this is divine clarity here. Ace of Swords energy. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is always, to me, that divine intervention energy, you know, bringing in the clarity. It's also um, successful in the beginning, based on truth and clarity, honest, open communication, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS. And then you have strength here, which is strength, being courageous and brave, having determination, willpower, endurance, knowing when to hold back, <laughs> knowing when to do the right thing, and holding back from doing the wrong thing. Let's get one more <clears throat> on your situation here. I feel like it's taking all your strength to try to conquer this malicious person up here. 
But the divine energy is here trying to shed light for you on this situation. Um, Cancer, if this makes sense to anybody. I'm also getting listen to your intuition about this person, your gut feelings, your higher knowing, whatever you sense. I think you have a very strong sense about this person and to trust that energy. Prince of Cups. So that's your energy. And this is about communication. So, or is that the night? No, that's the, um, so I think, nope, that's the, this deck confuses me a little bit. I believe, I believe that is the, to do if I can find, I do believe that is the um, <clears throat> Page of Cups. So I'm trying to find a knight in here so I can be sure. Sorry, just give me a minute here. So that could be the knight because we do have a lot of princesses in here. So I really don't like it when they do prince and princess because it gets a little confusing. All right, so it, whether it's the knight or the page, I'm not sure. I think it's the I think it's the knight actually. So this is moving forward, you know, in a loving, compassionate energy, a caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. And I think you've tried to be like peaceful with this person. You've tried to, you know, be kind of compassionate and peaceful. You know, trying to keep the peace with them. And I think it's very hard for you to do because you know how they are. Maybe you're the only one that sees it here. But the Ace of Swords is telling you here that whatever you sense, you feel, you believe about this person is probably true here. Wow, so you got somebody around you who is kind of like a malicious manipulator. Uh, they could be trying to ruin your reputa reputation on social media. It's kind of what I'm getting. Um, whether you're their boss or not, or you're a coworker here, I feel like you finally decided here to either send them an email or a text or a message and say, hey, look, I know your intentions, what you're doing, you need to stop. And even if you are kind of friends, probably uh, taking them off your friends list, you know, just detachment from that energy, like intentionally doing it. All right. So what is your advice? What is your advice? I don't know why this person is doing this to you, but yeah, the three of source, the swords. They're causing you a lot of grief and strife and heartache and pain. I'm getting like a lot of grief and like pain and heartache and like why is this person doing this to me? They could be just very jealous person. Ace of Cups. So we got a lot of aces here. So this is a brand new beginning of faith, spirituality, self-love, peace, harmony, happiness, fulfillment. Could be in love or something like that. But then we have the Eight of Wands. So this could be communication, travel, action, communication. Um, again, communication over the airlines, um, internet kind of energy also. Let's get one more. This is your advice for this situation. I'm getting, you know, don't trust this manipulator or whoever they are. Two of Pentacles. So again, could be somebody you worked with, you work with, or are working with, or you did work with. Very imbalanced energy, not feeling like secure, safe around this person, kind of energy. So let me see why the Two of Pentacles is here. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Kind of getting the message, but. Let's see why the Two of Pentacles is here for Cancer. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Six of Wands. So success, victory, accomplishment kind of energy. Seven of Cups. So confusion, decisions, the High Priestess. So follow your intuition on this. If you're confused, don't overthink it. <clears throat> there is success and victory here, either in this situation once you let go of this person 
again with this communication could be just uh what is this communication i feel like you're gonna finally just tell them you know what i'm done so yeah because it's too much deceit hurt malicious energy here with the seven of swords and i feel like you're going to be communicating that you're going to be communicating that so they bring you too much imbalance and confusion and overthinking but once you let go of that energy follow your gut your intuition on this and higher knowing um don't tell others what you're doing but just um you know contact them and do what you need to do you'll feel much more uh, successful vic victorious in your own life in your work your career you'll have peace of mind here with the ace of cups no longer having this energy around you yeah you've kind of been waiting here with the seven of pentacles energy on what to do but now prince of wands here again is sending out that communication or taking action now taking action on this getting rid of the seven of swords energy so let's see you communicate to this person i feel like you're going to um tell them up front you know what's going on and you're going to detach yourself from them like cut all the cords <clears throat> all right two of swords so being a little indecisive here or needing to make a decision and that's your energy king or queen of cups here so that's your energy two of cups so doing what you feel is best in this situation that does talk about like unity but having to make a decision about, you know, this person, you could have been friends with them at one time or something like that, but you here making this decision. So what decision will be made with this person? Death. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Ending it. Just done. Ending it. No more. No more ties to this person. I'm feeling. Letting it go. Letting it be. Detaching. Ending it. Moving on moving on once you move on from this uh, you'll have peace of mind again king of cups and the two of cups more aligned with you having peace within yourself and i think maybe peace with your friends family maybe this has been affecting your friends and family in some way having just i feel inner peace and peace around you finally what's on the bottom here so we have the queen of pentacles so you could be you know a business owner or a boss or something manager something like that but someone's very stable grounded uh growth abundance king of swords so male or female here doesn't matter so again having truth and clarity cutting away things no longer serving you telling it like it is not taking any bs open honest truthful communication now we got the queen of wands so we got a lot of people here so taking fiery, passionate action forward, determination, balancing out energies around you, bringing in peace, harmony, being patient, uh, divinely guided energy here. So we have the page of pentacles here, which could be a new offer coming in, something solid, something grounded um, kind of energy. Could be the spring. Then we have summer, the princess of wands. So more communication in the summer. So we got more communication coming in in the spring and summer so you could you know once we come out of this world the way it is you could be making new friends uh, new alliances whatever that means for you feeling very fiery passionate feeling feeling stable and grounded once again and then you have the sun with total success victory uh, healing energy um happy home and family enlightenment everything positive with the sun and then the ace of pentacles which to me is almost re represents the same kind of energy which we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of um, Swords, now the Ace of Pentacles. So stable new beginning for the long term, growth, abundance in every single way. I feel like you need this person, I think, I don't know, you, you need to get rid of this person in the world. We're closing out cycles here so you can start new cycles. Now we've got the King of Pentacles. So, wow, so more stability. So the King of Pentacles here is Virgo and then we have here um, Leo Aquarius Taurus Scorpio we have Leo let's see we have Sagittarius we have Aries Gemini Capricorn let's see what else do we have here we have <clears throat> Pisces 
Scorpio, Cancer, uh, Pisces here, actually. What else do we have here? Leo energy. Let's see. Leo again. Prince of Cups there, which is Scorpio again. Uh, Capricorn. What else we have here? We have Gemini Virgo. Libra Taurus. Making a mess of my cards here. So, what was that? The Three of Pentacles. So, those are the other energies that I see. So, I see you have like a malicious uh, manipulator around you who's trying to either ruin your rep reputation for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe they're just a jealous person with ill intentions. You know, maybe there's something wrong with them. I don't know. If they're trying to, um, you know, try to get something that you have or get a position that you have and they need, they know they need to like get rid of you first or something. I don't know. Whatever your situation is here, don't trust this person. I feel like you need to end it, detach, tell them up front everything you know and just sort of block them, end it and move on. If you work with this person, maybe you need to, I don't know, kind of be a whistleblower on this person also. But make sure you have proof of some kind. All right, so that could be the justice here. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you, Libra. Mintakin, longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So some of you could be a light worker um, kind of energy, or you're longing for the way things used to be before this person came into your life is kind of what I'm feeling also. So I do ask Cancer, if you're new, you like my style, how I read, please check out my channel if you like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. Get about five readings a month. You get a love reading, a general reading, um, a singles love reading, um, messages from spirit reading, and then a bonus reading where we take a look at love, life, and some advice for you. So if you're interested in that, Feel free to subscribe, and if you do, thank you. So, what else do we have here? Star Mother, how can you how can you mother yourself? So this is nurturing yourself, caring for yourself, um, kind of just uh, pampering yourself, also. So, don't forget to take care of yourself and pamper yourself. Self love, align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Exactly. Somebody is not in their right mind here. I feel somebody around you and maybe they have you know maybe i mean maybe they just have something wrong with them and they don't know it I, I don't know but somebody here has ill intentions very distorted energy here and at the bottom here we have take a break a life a life's work not a season get off the treadmill so don't forget again to take a break take care of yourself relax rejuvenate pamper yourself self-love change what is not serving you in your life here and getting back to how things used to be. Okay, Cancer, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.